If you're looking to give your designs a supernatural twist, then this is the tutorial for you. Join me as I take you through the step-by-step -step process of making a ghost text effect in Photoshop. This easy to follow guide is perfect for beginners and experienced users alike as it walks you through the basics of creating an amazing, spooky, otherworldly look. Watch now and see how it's done. But before we get started, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. Let's get started. The first thing you should do is create a new document. I will be using pixels, 3300 for the width and 2550 for the height. Change your color mode to RGB. Fill your background with the color black and now I'm typing out the word ghost. Change the color to F E F E F E. And I will be using the font Amica black letter. And the font size will be 169 points. Now grab your text and place it in the center of your document. And here we will apply a text warp. Change the style to squeeze, horizontal, bend 50, horizontal distortion, 33, and click OK. Now we're going to convert this layer to a smart object and duplicate it two more times. Now on the very first letter, we will apply a Gaussian blur. Change the radius to 7.2 pixels. Now we're gonna apply a motion blur. Change the angle to 56 and the distance to 39. Now we're gonna apply a liquify filter so here, just grab a soft brush and I'm going to extend certain parts of the word because we want to give this a very wispy effect. Now I am going to grab my brush tool here and I'm going to mask away certain parts of the word so that it comes back in focus. Apply an outer glow. Change the blend mode to screen, opacity is 95%, and the color will be BBCEE9. Change the size to 92, and the range to 70. Now let's apply an inner glow. Change the blend mode to normal, opacity is 52%, and the color will be 417FF0. Change the size to 38 pixels. And now let's apply an inner shadow. Change the blend mode to luminosity and the color will be B8B9BA. Change the opacity to 97%. Distance is three, size is 163 pixels. And change the contour to this one in the first row. Now make the second layer visible. Move this layer up and to the right. Change the opacity to 61%. Now let's add a twirl effect. Change the angle to 50 degrees and click OK. Now let's apply a Gaussian blur. Change the radius to 14.8 pixels. Apply a motion blur. 
change the angle to negative 38 and the distance to 233 pixels. Now on the third ghost layer, we will change the fill to 0% and we will move it over to the right a little bit. Now let's add a box blur. Change the radius to 35 pixels. Apply a Gaussian blur. And change the radius to 21.9 pixels. Now let's add an inner glow. Change the blend mode to screen. The opacity will be 71%. And the color will be 417FF0. Change the size to 81 pixels. And the contour will be the last one in the first row. Now let's add an inner shadow. Change the blend mode to screen. And the color will be 429DF9. Change the opacity to 97%. Distance is two, size is 103. Now we're gonna add a puppet warp. Go to edit, puppet warp, and here I am selecting several areas around the edge of my text. And here I am pulling it downward to extend that ghostly text effect. And create a mask and take a very soft brush to brush away those very hard edges. You could also use the liquify filter for this part as well. And then of course go back in and clean up those edges a bit more. Now if you're the type of person that prefers a black and white ghost text effect, you can also add an adjustment layer on the top. And also don't forget to play around with the opacity and the placement of your text so you can get it to your liking. And that is how you make a ghost text effect in Photoshop. If you like what you saw today, make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm also the owner of a streetwear brand called Threaded South. I have some new things dropping soon. So you can always check back to my website at threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching.